We next enter a room containing a form that's difficult to describe. In any other museum, it could be passed off as a meteorite. And while this was born of intense heat, this is altogether different. This formation is really four separate stories of the World Trade Center, compressed, compacted, incinerated, exposed to temperatures as hot as the inner Earth. I never knew this existed. On it, you can see the typeface from printer paper, which was exposed to so much heat, it carbonized. Is this your tomb of the unknowns? In some respects, it is unequivocal. After these. This is three floors of the World Trade Center, and everything in them, compressed and fused together into a slab about three feet thick. When those towers collapsed, remember the collapses began from the top, they did not begin from the bottom. And so when the floors began crashing down upon themselves, the air just simply looked for the path of least resistance, and generally that went straight out the window. Level of destruction. One of the more unusual artifacts to emerge from the rubble is this rock-like object that has come to be known as the meteorite. It's this fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel and concrete and all of these things all fused by the heat into one single element. And almost like a chunk of lava from Kilauea or Iceland where they're very sharp but, but breakable shards on the end here. So the fires got very intense down there and actually melted beams where it was molten steel that was being dug out. Here is the meteorite, molten iron fused with concrete. And architects, engineers, people who work with steel, welders have just never seen the level of destruction and the level of deformation of this material in our lives. is this rock-like object that has come to be known as the meteorite. It's this fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel and concrete and all of these things all fused by the heat into one single element. 